I just love you, Pastor Bobo. I will always love you and Shirley and your whole family. And I love Pastor Levi and his family, too. And Charles Kaiser, everybody. I remember everybody. I'm not a big forgiver. But, you know, my mind is not like it used to be, and I don't mean no harm if I call maybe twice. But, you know, you know, uh, but I noticed something. But it's all good. It don't matter, Pastor Boga. All I want you to know is that I love you very much. And I always think about Pastor Lee right too. Because I remember sometimes he used to take over for you. Yeah, I'm I right. love Pastor Lee by too. And I don't like to push stuff because I know you know, the, the devil is a liar. So, We're I go- just love you. And I love Pastor Bobo. You get the sign. You're going to get the sign. I've seen it. You're going to get the sign for the, for the um, property next to your house. Because I see a lot of signs through the years. Even when I was a child, that used to encourage me to give me strength. So, just take me, Pastor Bogo, from A to Z. And I love you very much. And I pray for everybody in the world. I love you, Pastor Bogo. Let's okay. pray. Dear Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you would continue ministering to this daughter of yours. I thank you, God, that she is your daughter. And I ask that you would bless her from A to Z, that she would be blessed in every bit of her moment. I ask God in Jesus' name that you would help us to have a day that is blessed when it's not easy because some days are a bit challenging but god you've already give us that word that says you're a present help in time of trouble i thank you that you are a present help in our moment of trouble minister to us And thank you that it is present, your help, not something that's coming somewhere down the road, but you're helping us right now. Thank you for that. We thank you and praise you and help us to be in our living, your daughters and sons, dear God, I pray. Grant it, Lord, we thank you and praise you now. God bless your on the air. God bless you, Pastor Lord. God bless us all. God bless, I love that. Amen. I'm calling you to pray for my friend, your troops, that her children put her in a nursing home. And they called me this afternoon and told me. Uh, so I'm asking the Lord to, to heal her man. She has dementia and she was up in the house with the blinds closed and hadn't eaten in days and I, I just feel real I've been doing it for over 40 years wow and what age would you put Gertrude I at? put I put Gert about 85 so that's up there a ways yes I good. want everyone close to the Lord to pray for Gertrude we'll pray now yes and pray also for my family from A to Z in Jesus name amen dear God that be with this one Gertrude at age 85 I ask God in Jesus name that we could have a blessing that comes into our ongoing life and God I ask that you would bless exceedingly all that are well up in their age minister to all that are living in the second half of life 50 and older bring us further in a blessed way and minister to this caller and family and all minister to each of us and bring us further in our moment blessed of thee and God I ask that you would help us that the rough edges on good people wouldn't stay that we could get free from those rough edges that can still be in our life 
when we're doing pretty good. But God, let us get into a better moment. Dear God, I pray, bring us further in our moment. Grant it, Lord, that we could find the blessing that is a gift from Thee entering our moment. And God, I'm asking that you would minister to whoever is listening that the new day coming is a special day. Let that day be blessed in every bit of its moment. Minister to each of us and bring us further than where we are. Help us in this moment, dear God, to be able to have a blessing that is a gift from Thee. Entering our moment, granted, Lord, we thank You now. God bless your on the air. God bless you, Pastor Vogel. Amen. God bless us all. God bless us all. I love that. I heard the caller speaking about um, someone commenting on her calling so many times. I hope she's still listening. It was no offense attended. Actually, I, I she may have missed. I said that I was glad she called in so many times because I had a wonderful Mother's Day. And I heard she had a wonderful Mother's Day as well. And the reason I called is because we are to show love to one another. And... Um, it was no offense attended, so I apologize if she take it that way. May the Lord continue to bless us all. Amen. I have an unspoken prayer request. I have a situation. I thank God for that. We're going to pray. I love the prayer for unspoken requests. And can I tell you something before you go on? Um, yes. I, I thank God for you because somebody made me very upset. And I just heard you saying, God is our refuge and strength. Hallelujah. And I've been reading that, and I call on Jesus. I needed his help. I didn't want to call on nobody else. Dear Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this moment as we're looking to thee and minister to this daughter of yours that is with something she's bringing to you that isn't spoken to us, but we're thankful that she's bringing it to thee, and we're asking that she could be blessed in this unspoken request area, that it could be blessed of thee. Take us further than where we are. Minister to all of us, Dear God, I pray, lead us and guide us and help us to be changing for the better when we're doing pretty good. Because even when we're doing pretty good, there could be a better moment to take us further when we're doing.